Hi, this is the TOK essay breakdown series for November 2022. In these videos, I'll be unpacking the key terms and ideas in the title, as well as looking at the question from the perspective of two areas of knowledge. For a more detailed analysis, examples, and ideas on how to approach this title using different AOKs and other TOK concepts, please check out my November 2022 essay guides, link in the description. So in this video, we'll be looking at title number one, which is within an area of knowledge, is it more important to have credibility or power? Discuss with reference to the natural sciences and one other area of knowledge. Let's start with our key terms. Now, the most important terms of this title are, of course, credibility and power. Both of these terms can be defined in quite a lot of different ways. But here, I'm defining credibility as the extent to which knowledge is plausible and benefits from a degree of consensus among experts in the field regarding its veracity. Now, power I am defining as the potential for knowledge to generate new insights and lead to further discoveries in a specific field. Now, some important points to bear in mind when answering this question. Firstly, avoid dedicating too much of your essay to ideas of what makes knowledge either powerful or credible. What you need to be focusing on is the relative importance of each of the aforementioned terms. As it may be discussed in a number of senses, as I mentioned before, it is really important that you are very clear in how you are defining and using the term power in particular throughout your essay. Finally, when planning your claims and counterclaims to this question, think about how the importance of power and credibility might vary according to the context. So, for example, education versus research. Moving on now to the areas of knowledge. The first one we will be looking at here is the compulsory from, from the title, The Natural Sciences. Beginning with our claim, we might say that credibility is more important as it is a key foundation of scientific research. If scientific knowledge is not credible, scientists cannot or at least will not build on it. After all, knowledge which has not survived critical scrutiny or just seems to be highly implausible does not exactly provide solid grounds for further research. Now, as you're going through your claims and counterclaims, it is good to point out a potential limitation in your argument. So here I have put that one potential limitation of valuing credibility too much is the fact that many scientific experiments can be difficult to reproduce. For instance, clinical drug trials. Now, determining which scientific findings are actually credible can be challenging and not necessarily practical. For our counterclaim, we're going to argue the opposite. So power is more important as, for instance, it is essential for pushing the boundaries of scientific research given that it allows scientists to envisage new possibilities, which may in turn lead them to new discoveries. Now, a potential limitation of this counterclaim is that whilst powerful knowledge is important, it still does require a solid foundation of evidence to support it. Bringing these ideas together in the mini conclusion, we might state that whilst power is important for furthering scientific research, credibility is the most fundamental element of this AOK 
as it is at the very core of such research. For the optional second AOK, I have chosen the arts. Again, we're going to begin by arguing that credibility is more important. In the arts, credibility often stems from experts such as art curators and critics. Now, we might say that the credibility that they lend to any specific work is important because such professionals tend to have a deeper insight into artistic works than, say, the average art enthusiast does. Nevertheless, a potential limitation with this line of thinking is the fact that various prominent movements in the arts have developed despite contravening the stylistic tastes of critics of the time. A good example of this is Impressionism. For our counterclaim, we will of course be arguing that power is probably more important. Now, from this point of view, we might say that, well, expert endorsement is not needed for a work of art to successfully convey a particular message in an impactful way. Indeed, the impact of the message is considerably more important than any opinion stemming from an art publication. This is particularly the case when a piece of art conveys its message in such a clear manner. A good example of this being Alufa Eliasson's 2014 piece Ice Watch. Having said that, one could argue that the power of art is dependent upon how wide of an audience it is exposed to. Summing these ideas up again in our mini conclusion, we might say that whilst credibility may indicate the high degree of artistic merit in a particular piece, nevertheless, the power of art is of much greater importance overall. For essay guides and personal feedback, feel free to check out my website, tokessayhelp.com. Many thanks for watching.